Elizabeth called me and said, come quickly, Bruce is dying, he looks terrible. And please bring uh, your film about the Vodabe herdsman of the sun. And he would see 10 minutes of it and then lapse into a delirium. And he would shout out to me, I've got to be on the road again, I've got to be on the road again. He looked at his legs and were only spindles. And he says, but my rucksack is too heavy. And he said, uh, you must uh, carry. And I carried it for a few thousand kilometers myself. Bruce was a nomad, but he was always drawn back to this place, Black Hills and Wales. But this is a, a, a dreaming place, I mean, these hills. His inner landscape. His inner landscape, yeah. Landscape of his soul. I think so. In Central Australia, I'm concerned with something which are called the song lines, or the dreaming tracks. The Australian Aboriginals have this idea that the whole of the land is covered with song. And this is something which I find absolutely, it's totally incredible, because I think it gives one insights as to how um, language, song, thought, poetry came into being originally. A lot of the material in this is restricted material. It's, it's restricted knowledge. Um, this documents songs in detail. It provides you with, with um, translations of, of songs. Are you disturbed that the book is available? It contains secrets that shouldn't be out there. What happens if my camera sees them, let's say by mistake? What would we do? Well, I'd come over and press delete on your camera. Many other songs, they have disappeared and they will never come back to us. They will never come back. When that person passed away, that's it. Nobody will see and nobody will learn. I am the last, last one. When close to death, some Aboriginal people take a long journey back to the place of their conception. This for me was the central uh, message from, from the song lines. And I think it was a message that held a lot of uh, value for Bruce at that point. I think he was looking for a way to die. Like Sartre look, was looking for a right way to live, um, Chatwin was looking for a right way to die. <laughs> 